Hey folks, Jiwo here, and we're back with some more Fantasy Star 4. Here we are in Valhall Fort. Okay, so like I was saying before, we are in Valhall Fort, and we're trying to shut down, or trying to figure out what's going on with all these mechanical enemies harassing the AI systems around Latavia and whatnot by sending their mechanical drones. Sweet, rune leveled up. Ah, uh, just wasting TP. And here's a new enemy, the Drafadul. Very nice. Chaz leveled up! You know, I kind of want to equip Rika with an... Uh, or with a... what do you call it? The Silver Tusk. Yes, it actually does a lot more damage to mechanical enemies. Yeah, because I was doing some research on that, and apparently um, the Silver Tusk has some... If enemies are weak to light damage, then um, they're screwed. Silver Tusk is awesome, and that's actually a weapon that's going to be great for the final, final battle. Geez, so many random encounters here, and the Lego armor for Ren. Sorry, I'm like eating a Cliff Bar right now. Cliff bars are yummy. And Rika leveled up. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to be heading to the gym right after this episode, so... Um, hopefully we can finish this. I mean, man, so many random encounters that are just slowing us down. Alright, let's keep going to the right side now. Oh, are you serious? That's not cool. You can't self-destruct like that and totally wipe out one of my party members. Oop, not Ryuka. <laughs> I see an R and I automatically want to click it to revive. Or, not click, but press it. Press my button. Oh my gosh, I'm failing miserably at healing. <laughs> Alright, we're almost out of here. <laughs> this is awesome! If all these things started to move at once, Matavia would fall completely under their control instantly. Rune, why exactly did we come here again? Let's hurry, this is not a joking matter. <laughs> Somehow, when Ren says it, it's very convincing. <laughs> Level up for Ren! Alright, let's head to the right first. What's this? Are these more of your spare parts, Ren? It appears. I don't believe it! Is this a Positron Bolt unit? Huh? <clears throat> this is a powerful weapon de developed for attacking space fortresses. A 10 second burst could even destroy Zeelin. Wow! Imagine that po the power of this unit, and yet it's so small. Yes. Under normal circumstances, I would prefer to avoid using such a weapon. But unfortunately, in this situation, I have no choice. 
I shall install it. Ren. Device installation complete. Positron bolt now ready for use. Yeah, Ren's got the positron bolt. Let's see it. Pause the bolt. <laughs> I, I approve of that. Um, so we're actually gonna save the Positron Bolt for the fight at the end of this place. It's pretty crazy. Kinda wanna show you guys that a little later. Oh, man. Do I really wanna use a Geesaw right now? Yes, I do! Okay, so we're almost at the end of this. Let's hope we finish it soon. Jeez, are you serious? Come on. A hey, it's a Goldeen. <laughs> Goldeen, Goldeen. Tandle and... <clears throat> no. That's hurt too much. There it is, Tandle. Die already! Oh, you freak. Dude, we're just getting owned in this place. <laughs> Alright, Chaz, revive Rune again. Then use Gears on Rune. Okay. We're almost home. Alright. Just give me one second to prep for this boss fight. Of course, Rune had to die again. So like I stated before, give me a second to prep for this boss fight. Actually, I think I'm we're going to have to call it an episode here. There's going to be a lot of dialogue coming up. So I'm going to heal up and then we'll tackle this area. Yeah. Alright folks, so in our next episode, we'll finish this guild mission 8. I'm sorry it's been taking me so long. <laughs> so, see you guys next time. Jiwo out.